In this video, we're going to be replacing a busted rain freeze sensor for a sprinkler system that's telling our controller it's always raining. We're going to be replacing this with a Rainbird rain freeze sensor. And the reason why we prefer these Rainbird units is because they actually have replaceable batteries that prolong the overall lifespan of the unit, as well as indicators for total rainfall as well as signal and battery. Wiring for this is pretty simple. Red and black are going to go to the power, green and white are going to go to your sensor ports. And then you're going to want to pick a good location for your catchment device. Uh, in this instance, we had gutter guards along the full roof line. So we're going to pick somewhere along the fence line where we still get good signal and no obstruction from any tree lines or roof lines, anything like that. We want to make sure that our sensor gets an accurate reading on the total amount of precipitation within the, uh, within the area. So you can see, going back to the controller, our sensor is active with good signal, good battery. So everything in regard to this installation should be set to roll.